Oh dear. Welcome back to Let's Play DMC. I'm Burning Dog Face. What? The? I didn't know I could do that. Getting very interesting indeed. Ah, oh, too soon. Where are you now? What the fuck? Nope! Do you mind, big guy? You are not the most interesting thing in this room right now. She missed. That never happens with uh, that attack. It's not nice to body check a lady, asshole. Oh, good. That reminds me, last time I ran into that red masked dude who is apparently called Drekovac. Fuck you. And, uh, I kind of killed him. So I guess that guy wasn't really, uh... Oh, fuck you. Ooh. I guess he wasn't really, uh, Sparta after all. What was that? Ooh. I don't know you could turn that fast. Fucking A. Man! I don't think either of us enjoyed that. I'm pretty sure I enjoyed that. Over here! Toro! What's up?
Oh man! Yes! He really does stumble at the end of that combo. A friend of mine pointed that out. Nope, sorry. Not gonna work. No. Which is night, is that how it is? Ooh, hey! Oh shit! Oh, you don't want to lose track of one of those guys. Fuck these guys, they're total assholes. He failed. Ow. Sure, you can, bitch. This is even a Capcom product. I sort of fired away while we did that. Jump cut. That's better. Man. No idea what I was going to say in that intro. Where the fuck am I going? Ah. Uh. Okay, nuts to this place. Interesting. A friend of mine is observing that, uh... Dante isn't exactly the most graceful swordsman in the world. <clears throat> it seems to be off-balance a lot of the time. That one notwithstanding. go ahead and assume that wasn't the case for Dante Classic. Why are the white bars remaining? That's better. This is gonna suck. D is for Dante! Fuck you guys. Only two. Demon's Den, huh?
Yeah, I'm just not really that into the aerial combos. Probably get that. Ah, well. Oh, for. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, uh. I was under the impression that classic Dante's thing was being a suave, self-composed ladies' man. So I take it that if he was stumbling off balance in his basic combos, it would sort of clash with the theme. Well, this isn't ominous at all. We made it. We made quite the team. I'm stronger. I'm smarter. I'm better looking. Lunas is behind the vault door. Let's not keep him waiting. And I got a bigger dick. <laughs> Virgil? No comment? Okay, so we, given that there are side passages, I'm guessing we're gonna run forward and the doors are gonna close. Great! A puzzle. What's happening? They must know we're coming. Just as Cat predicted. So, what do we have to do here again? Kickstart the backup generators in limbo to overload the system so I can hijack the quantum encryption algorithms. That's it. But, uh... Could you say that first bit again? So, you have to kickstart the generators. Four of them, right? Yeah, that's right. One in each tunnel. Let's get to work. Oh, boy. Picking completely arbitrarily, I'm going to go with... This one. Oh, hey. So... Dante ended up as a playable character in that fighting game they made a while back on the PS3. Uh... PlayStation All-Stars or something like that. The one that was made up of uh, it was it was Smash Brothers but for characters from Sony exclusive games with a couple of notable exceptions like uh Lara Croft who has long since gone multi-platform. And uh Strangely enough, they threw in the Big Daddy from the first two Bioshock games, which is especially strange because the original Bioshock started out as an Xbox 360 exclusive. As I understand it, the idea was that uh, all the characters who weren't first party which is most of them, were characters that had, uh, you know, done a lot to help the PlayStation brand. So Laura Croft is there because the original Tomb Raider games back on the PS1 were, uh, you know, such a killer app that people wanted the machine. Similarly, Dante is present because uh, the original Devil May Cry games, which are all PS2 exclusive, did a lot to sell that console.
I remember hearing... Though, a, uh... What seemed to me as a very valid complaint about that game. Specifically that a lot of the characters seem to be designed towards marketing. In that... Dante from, you know, Dante from Devil May Cry is in... Uh, the PlayStation All-Stars game. But it's this Dante, the guy from DMC, a game that was multi-platform from the word go. Because that's the most recent game and they, you know, would like you to play it. It's not, you know, the original Dante, the guy from the games they're talking about that did such a good job of selling the brand. Similarly, Lara Croft is represented by the, uh, Lara from the reboot, which I've previously LP'd and not classic Lara. I think there's another one like that, but I can't remember. There were also uh, a heavy number of characters from uh, more recent games that just seemed to be in there because of uh, advertising rather than, you know, actually deserving to be there. And that's what I've been told, anyway. I meant to do that. That was it? No, it wasn't. Oh, this is crazy. Where did it go? There. No! My organs! Cease your chicanery! Man, I lost half my fucking health in that fight. Sorry about that. What's the other thing? Oh yeah, speaking of, uh... The Big Daddy, I was led to believe that uh, his unique stage, despite it being, you know, the Big Daddy, was, uh, Columbia, the flying city from the more Good. recent... I'll reboot the server. Now, line up the power conduits with the corresponding server. What? Are you aware that I have no idea what that means? Purple. Oh, right. I don't remember getting a thing telling me about purple orbs. Uh, no, I can't actually rotate this.
yeah, the uh, Big Daddy's level was supposed to be Columbia, the flying city from Bioshock Infinite, instead of Rapture, the submerged city from Bioshock and Bioshock 2. I guess I'll just try another one. I had another thought about that game, but... It can wait until the next episode of Let's Play DMC! I'm Burning Dogface, and I really wish this rock would stop doing that. It's gross. <laughs> See ya, guys.